Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to the Chatham McNally Money, home of all things stock, investment, and personal finance related. Now for today's video, I'm super excited to be talking about a brand new penny stock. This company just IPO'd on November 10th. They're involved in the vegan e-commerce space and the company name is Veggie. Now before we get into it today, please take a second, hit the like button you guys, it's a huge help to myself and the channel. If you're not already subscribed, McNally Money, feel free to do so. And let me know in the comment section below if you've heard of this company before, if you've shopped on their platform, and how you think they stack up to some of the other competitors in this space. Now without further ado, let's get into today's video. Okay guys, so that's right, today's video going to be a first on the McNally Money channel. We're actually going to be looking at coverage on an IPO of a company by the name of Veggie. Now this is a super exciting company in a really exciting sector. We've talked about some other plant-based protein or vegan focused companies on the channel before, but Veggie has really taken this to the next level you guys. This is a snapshot from their company presentation and what this company is, is really a digital powerhouse connecting consumers to the largest selection of plant-based and sustainable brands in the world. So if you think Amazon of vegan food and vegan products, that's what Veggie is really trying to establish here, you guys. At its core, it really is a tech company, so they're an online e-commerce platform. They've got a robust distribution network, and they're starting to add additional SKUs outside the food and beverage categories, including lifestyle, wellness, clothes, consumer products. So it really is becoming the one-stop shop for people who want to pursue a vegan-based lifestyle. Now, in addition to all of that exciting news and activity within the company, they actually just went IPO or had their initial public offering on Wednesday, November 10th. And that's exactly why I felt the time was right to cover this company and put this stock on your guys' radar because I think it is a really cool way to play this sector or space. Now, the ticker symbol on this one is VEJI. It trades on the Canadian Securities Exchange, so the CSE. So in terms of video format here today, we're gonna to be switching things up a little bit. Because Veggie is brand new to the public markets, we're gonna be taking a different approach in this video. So we've jumped over to the corporate website. We're gonna take a little bit deeper look at what Veggie's about and how they've set out on this mission to help smaller brands reach mainstream society and the general public. Then we're gonna jump over to the Shop Veggie website take a look at the different products, brands, and categories that they currently have available to their customers. We'll then jump into some recent news articles and talk about some big developments leading up to Veggie's IPO. Then we'll finish things off with the investor presentation and take a look at how their share price actually traded on that first day on the open market. So this is the Veggie Holdings website here. You can see about us, our company, Veggie Holdings consolidates plant-based and sustainable brands through its digital marketplace. That's the Shop Veggie platform that we're gonna look at, offering thousands of products from hundreds of vendors in a centralized online shopping experience. So really revolutionizing the way vegans interact with the marketplace. It's the 21st century, and you can now get these products delivered to your door, shopping from the comfort of your own home. Now later in the presentation, we're gonna look at some other companies in this digital market space or e-commerce sector and how they've really been able to attain massive market caps or share price valuations. Veggie is really looking to do the exact same thing in creating this digital marketplace or a one-stop shop for all things vegan. And that's where they're gonna really host or showcase these hundreds of different vendors and the various different brands and products that they're looking to bring to market. Now this company has generated a lot of buzz. They've been featured in Forbes. We're gonna take a look at that article, The Beat, Veg Economist, and Food Logistics. It really is flipping the vegan industry on its head here, you guys. And that's why I'm so excited about Veggie and actually being able to invest in this idea or concept on the public market. Now, as you continue to scroll down here, you can see a section dedicated to the brands that they offer on their e-commerce platform. The Veggie Marketplace was built for rapid scale, allowing brands to reach national exposure, utilizing Veggie's existing infrastructure of data, tech, marketing, and logistics. And that's why I say at the core, you guys, this really is a tech company, and they're creating this ecosystem or platform for vendors, buyers, and consumers 
to come together and really interact in a meaningful way. Now before we jump over to the actual Shop Veggie website itself, I did want to give a little bit of a background as to the story behind Veggie Holdings. This was co-founded by Corey Zellickson and Darren Gill. Our mission is to provide convenient and affordable access to the largest selection of plant-based and sustainable living products online. We're building a community of ethically aligned consumers with the intention of bettering our planet by supporting sustainable living. Consumers are becoming more aware of their environmental impact and there is a movement towards supporting sustainable companies that is undeniable. Consumers have a choice to purchase from companies that best align with their own core values. And that's exactly why I feel there's been so much investor attention on ESG type of companies and these plant-based protein or vegan-based type of companies. This is a common theme on my channel, you guys, whether we're talking about good-natured products in terms of the actual packaging itself, Odd Burger in terms of vegan fast food, very good food company, Tattooed Chef. There's a lot of attention on this space right now, and consumers really are voting with their wallets, and that's exactly what the team at Veggie is looking to capitalize on. Now, before we get into the recent news articles, I did want to jump over to the shopveggie.com website just to give you guys a look and feel for some of the products, the categories, and the brands that are offered. So you can see very robust offering here, you guys. The Veggie Express is the first category offered here. We're going to talk in a little bit more detail about Veggie Express later in the presentation. You can see some of the top brands in this space are featured here. So Beyond Meat, they've got Gardein, they've got Light Life. A very impressive list of companies that serve the vegan or plant-based consumer. On the left here, you can see the different categories. So they've got hot deals, they've got wine, grocery, protein, sports nutrition, household items, pet supplies, baby kids, apparel. They're really expanding exponentially in terms of the different types of products and categories that they feature on their website and for their customers to partake in or purchase. And again, if you expand these categories, the list really does go on. So within grocery, you've got deli, breakfast, frozen, pantry, over 3,000 different SKUs available. And again, looking to become that one-stop shop where every single product that you're looking for can be found in one convenient location and again, delivered to your home in a very reasonable and affordable manner. So the first article I wanted to talk about here today actually came out April 6th. And it talks about Veggie or the online vegan marketplace and how they're actually helping independent brands grow and thrive. And that's exactly what we talked about a couple of minutes ago here as one of the real core missions for the leadership team at Veggie is to get these various different products into consumers hands and help vegans or people looking for plant based products have a better and more comfortable shopping experience. So if you scroll down in the Forbes article here, you can see the COVID-19 pandemic really has taken a toll on how people shop and how they interact with different companies. Obviously, it's been a huge tailwind for the e-commerce space, and a lot of people are now choosing to shop from the comfort of their own home. And they actually throw out some great stats here. So 45% of people were now shopping more online in March of this year compared to March of last year. 41% reported buying groceries online which is really a major shift in mainstream society. 32% bought more health and wellness products online year over year, and 49% were actually avoiding restaurants in March of this year, compared to only 12.8 in March of 2020. So not only are people choosing to shop from home, but they're also choosing to cook and eat at home as well, as opposed to going out to restaurants. And as the article goes on, Corey Zellickson, again, the CEO and founder of this company or co-founder, I love companies that are founder led, you guys, you know that if you've been following this channel for some time, talks about how consumer preferences and behaviors are really changing and Veggie and specifically the Shop Veggie platform are allowing consumers or customers to interact with brands differently, particularly some of these smaller brands in the plant-based or vegan space that they may not have a lot of experience with or may not be stocked in their traditional grocery stores. Now over the last six to nine months, the team at Veggie has taken a number of big steps or big initiatives to really set this company up for their initial public offering or to go public. Now one of the big steps here that was really fundamental to this company's development took place in the middle of April and this was actually their acquisition of veganessentials.com. So you can see here Veggie continues quest to be the world's largest plant-based marketplace. Online grocer signs definitive agreement to acquire Veg Essentials Limited Liability Corporation. Now this was key to the company. We're going to look at the CEO's thoughts on this development in a second here. 
but this really gave them the platform to start that widespread North American expansion. So Canadian-based Veggie continues to make inroads in becoming an online vegan powerhouse. The grocer has signed a definitive agreement to acquire Veg Essentials, which operates veganessentials.com, one of the largest vegan marketplaces in the United States. And as we scroll through the article here, you can see the terms of the agreement. So this was a total purchase price of $1.4 million US. 200K of that is gonna be a refundable deposit payable upon signing of the agreement. 1 million, so the lion's share here is actually gonna be in common shares of veggie at a deemed price of 35 cents Canadian. And the remaining 200,000 US is gonna be payable in cash upon closing. Now in terms of Vegan Essentials numbers, keep in mind these are unaudited from 2020. They put up revenue of approximately $3.6 million Canadian. That was primarily driven through organic search traffic and had gross profit in the range of $785,000 Canadian. So definitely a fair sized company or a well-established player in the vegan online e-commerce space. Now Corey Zellickson, again the CEO and founder of Veggie, says this, we believe that Veggie's acquisition of Vegan Essentials provides an established asset to accelerate growth within the growing plant-based market and will solidify Veggie as a market leader for online plant-based sales within the US. Vegan Essentials joins the Veggie family with loyal customer base, established supplier relationships, and a distribution channel that will not only enhance Veggie's ability to continue scaling in the US, but will also help grow Vegan Essentials reach with Veggie's enhanced tech stack and marketing experience. So this was really monumental or transformational for the team at Veggie, and this gave them that foundation or base to build off to really expand on a massive scale across North America. Now fast forward to October, this article came out on October 29th. Veggie prepares for their initial public offering, and obviously the big reason to do this for this company or any other that's going into the public market is to provide access to growth and additional outside capital. Plant-based retailer Veggie Holdings has received conditional approval for public listing on the CSE Canadian Stock Exchange under the ticker symbol VEJI once a commencement date of trading is confirmed. Now what I thought was cool about this article is you can see the third paragraph Veggie's path to entering the final stages of its CSE public listing was relatively brief. So the company actually navigated this process quite quickly considering they first launched in March 2021 with the ambition of becoming a go-to online vegan marketplace, again carrying over 3,000 SKUs of plant-based products. In April of 2021, they acquired veganessentials.com, again becoming the biggest online marketplace to sell exclusively vegan products. And the final point here, which really speaks to Veggie's growth, while the initial focus has been developing a complete set of plant-based food items, Veggie now offers personal care items and soon to launch fashion items, again made from plant-based materials. And that's why I made that initial comparison to Amazon, you guys, because Veggie really is trying to become the one-stop shop for all things vegan and the go-to place if you're looking for products within this category. Okay, so now that we've looked at some of the recent news leading up to Veggie's IPO, I wanted to switch gears, jump into their investor presentation, and do a deep dive into their business model. So this is the first slide here, who we are. Veggie is a digital marketplace offering thousands of plant-based and sustainable living products from hundreds of vendors in a centralized online shopping experience. Now, if you recall, earlier in the presentation, I referred to Veggie really at its core as a technology company. And this is exactly what I meant by that. We use technology to connect buyers with the products and brands they want. We then use the data gathered from our marketplace to inform every aspect of our business from expansion plans to investment as we look to enter new markets and categories. We aim to consolidate up and coming products, platforms and brands under our umbrella. So this is kind of how the company org looks. There's Veggie Holdings at the top, shopveggie.com and veganessentials.com are the two e-commerce platforms. Those create the Veggie marketplace of vendors, brands, and products. They also have Veggie Express, which is express delivery, fulfillment, and national distribution. I should mention here, you guys, they've nailed down distribution to the point that they can get two-day delivery anywhere in mainland or continental United States, as well as some areas of the lower mainland here in Canada. So very efficient distribution network. Then they take the consumer data and insights from all of these various touch points and that really impacts future decisions about product performance, customer location, 
merger acquisition activity and search insights. And then as a byproduct, you can see potential acquisition opportunities, expansion of their distribution network, or category or product expansion itself. So to sum things up, data-driven decisions using the information that's collected through their various customer touch points. Now in terms of what they actually do, it's a brand and product agnostic marketplace that allows us to onboard vendors at a rapid scale and expand into new growing product categories. Now how they actually do that is through continually expanding their selection, whether that's actual categories, products, or brands. They onboard vendors in a very efficient way, so leverage vendors to fulfill product offering gaps, test categories without needing extensive investment from Veggie. So because they're actually just the platform, they don't have to invest a lot of capital to bring new products online or to market. They just need to invite other vendors to this platform. They integrate top performers into their Veggie Express fulfillment. So you saw the Veggie Express category on their website. And that also has an element of third party fulfillment as well. They acquire customers. So Veggie leverages paid digital marketing, SEO or search engine optimization and organic search traffic to acquire new customers and bring them into the vegan world. And the ultimate goal of all of this is obviously to increase revenue and the total addressable market for these products. So organic revenue growth, driven through repeat purchases on the website, expansion into trending product categories, and increasing, again, the total addressable market or number of people that are looking for these type of products. Now in its current state or where Veggie is today, again, 3,000 products, it's a centralized marketplace, which is primarily focused on food and grocery at this point. They've got 70 plus independent vendors, all in that grocery or consumable products category, 7,000 active accounts, and three distribution warehouses located in Texas, Wisconsin, and San Diego. Now that being said, where Veggie is headed is to scale to millions of products, thousands of different vendors, millions of customers across the world, hundreds of micro distribution centers enabling same day delivery in major metropolitan or urban areas, so very similar to Amazon Prime delivery, roll up and consolidate coming technology platforms, brands, products, and build an internally marketed and managed house of brands, expand into new innovative product categories, which we mentioned, and then international growth by leveraging this proven model that they've built out in North America. So honestly, global plans here for this company and really starting to get some traction. And I think this IPO is going to do a great deal for the company in terms of raising capital and gaining investor awareness and attention. Now, we mentioned Corey Zellickson in the intro. He's the founder and CEO of this company. He's got 15 years of innovation and technology experience, launched a number of successful e-commerce and technology startups. He's an engineer by trade, but most notably here, you guys, he actually co-founded the multi-vendor platform Namaste Technologies. And that's something we've talked about on the channel before. This was another publicly traded company. They went public in 2014. It reached a billion dollar plus market cap and they saw 20x or 20 times returns for their initial series of investors. So he knows how to build businesses from the ground up, how to scale them, how to drive share price appreciation for investors. And he's got a long-standing history with e-commerce and CPG tech-focused businesses. Now we've talked at length about the various products and the customer-facing goods or services that are provided by this company. But now I wanted to look at the vendor side of things because that's equally important here. The vendors are really what provides the depth and skew count to this company's platform. So this is how they actually succeed with capturing those vendors' attention. It's a tailored shopping experience powered by artificial intelligence which really enhances the user experience. It streamlines the inventory and purchasing demands and it ensures the effective use of capital for high velocity items. Now the way in which they actually do that is through data mining, analytics, smart shopping lists, past purchase history and proprietary technology that allows these vendors to really make again data driven decisions and gain insights from the sales data that Veggie is providing them on this platform. Now they also offer affiliate marketing links so they can easily onboard influencers in this category. They have a veggie rewards points program which can actually be used towards purchases or food bank donations. And then again that world class SEO or search engine optimization to maximize online visibility for the products and vendors on their e-commerce platforms. Now we also mentioned the veggie express so this is the shipping component of their high velocity SKUs so their most popular items here 
from a wide variety or range of vendors. These are all picked, packed, and fulfilled by Veggie in-house. There's localized and same-day delivery in certain metropolitan areas. Again, they have that regionalized hub-and-spoke distribution network, all with the underlying effort to reduce carbon emissions and the actual carbon footprint from shipping and delivery activities. So you can see Veggie Express is one component of their overall distribution strategy. They've also got national drop shipping distributors, which allows them to drop ship non-perishable items directly to customers' doors. And the third component here is actually around vendor brands themselves, which allows them to list, sell, and ship their own products directly to customer doors if they see fit. So as mentioned in the intro here, you guys, very robust distribution strategy. And when you become a major online e-commerce player, this is truly one of the biggest, most difficult aspects to nail down. And to me, it looks like Veggie definitely has a strong hold on this, at least within the United States, and now starting to emerge in Canada here as well. And that's a perfect segue to this slide here, which talks about Veggie's growth strategy. So you can see the United States, number one, launched November 2020. Again, 3,000 SKUs, new SKUs being added weekly. They've got those warehouses in place for fast, cost-efficient delivery. Canada was second on the list here. This actually launched in April of 2021. They launched with an initial set of their 90 best-selling SKUs or products, expanding that gradually to 250 SKUs, an exact same distribution model based on that hub-and-spoke warehouse system. And then the third point of expansion here is actually into Europe. This is pending launch in the United Kingdom for Q4 of this year. Distribution partners have been established in the UK. They're using 3PL or third-party logistics to identify partners in the United Kingdom. And again, they're going to launch their most popular products there to serve the European market. And that brings us to this slide here, which really talks about the opportunity and why I'm so excited about investing in the Veggie Corporation. So there's two major trends or tailwinds that I see that this company is looking to capitalize on. Number one is the online marketplace opportunity. So we've seen rapid growth with online or e-commerce platforms such as Etsy, GoPuff, Wayfair, Instacart, obviously Amazon is the number one in that category. You can see these companies on the left are fetching tens of billions of dollars worth of market cap or valuation and they're all focused on the e-commerce experience. So Etsy focused on handmade or vintage items. GoPuff is focused on snacks and alcohol. Wayfair is home goods. And I feel this category has really benefited in a big way from the pandemic situation here. So people are now choosing to purchase things from home, have them delivered to their doorstep. They don't need to go out into the public, into retail or brick and mortar locations to get these goods or services that they desire. In addition to that, there's also massive growth in the plant-based or vegan sector itself. So Beyond Meat, Notco, Oatly, the very good food company, which we've talked about extensively on this channel. There's a ton of investor attention within this category and a lot of companies that are really seeing the opportunity with plant-based protein and plant-based products or goods. And Veggie really combines these two worlds and brings both these opportunities into one central location. So they provide the marketplace for the plant-based goods or plant-based vendors to sell their products. And that's exactly why I'm so excited about this company moving forward. Not to mention the global expansion, the expanding distribution, same day or next day delivery, but the category itself I think is gonna undergo tremendous growth over the next couple of years, even decades, as the world starts to shift to a more plant-based diet. So for those reasons here, you guys, I definitely think Veggie deserves a look. Again, it just IPO'd, so you really truly are getting in at the ground level. Now we're gonna jump over, we're gonna take a look at their share price after their first day of trading here, but the opportunity ahead of these guys truly is massive, and if they're able to execute and build out on this internal growth plan successfully, I think the sky truly is the limit for Veggie moving forward. So here's a quick look at the Veggie Holdings chart. After close on their initial day of trading on November 10th, you can see here up 4,300% on the day. That's because this is their first day of trading. They actually closed out at 21 and a half cents Canadian. Now keep in mind, they opened the day at 39 cents. So they did pull back quite considerably on this initial day of trading on the open market. This is definitely a fairly attractive entry point. I know I was watching this share price fluctuate throughout the day. I was very close to pulling the trigger. I do think I am going to initiate a position in Veggie over the next couple of days and continue to watch their share price action 
as the market and investment community starts to pick up on this name and this ticker. So that's it for today's video, you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, whether or not you took part in Veggie's IPO, how you think their business model stacks up to some of the others in this space, and what you think about this company's growth prospects moving forward. If you're not already subscribed to McNally Money, feel free to do so. And if you're still watching at this point in time, hopefully you found some value, so make sure you hit the like button on your way out. That's all for now. Thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.